together. We change the world. Hello everyone, it's your boy Theo here with Raijin's Intersecting Wheels. I am here on a mission to finally debunk once and for all the myth that snow overflow is hard to pull off or that it's a meme or that one has to quote-unquote sacrifice call slots just to enable it. One, it's not really hard to do once we know what stats to look for. And two, why is snow overflow considered a meme but Makina and Garnet is not? They are both just team setups with the same thing in mind, dealing tons of damage. And finally, sacrificing call slots. It's really no different to bring in three debuffing calls or to bring science calls, seed range calls. They're all there to increase your damage. Snow overflow just requires bringing buffing calls to increase damage. They both do the same thing, just going different routes. Well, for this fight, I'm bringing Lena, Porom, and Raijin's calls. Lena and Porom both do two things for this fight. Lena for the debuff immunity during the setup phase and the 20% gain overflow. Porom for the healing and 30% overflow. The mission has really low HP requirements at only 3k and I'll be eating a number of threshold attacks while setting up so having Porom and her overheals are great for my team. And finally, a Raijin LD call to shut down the bosses for good and not worry about debuff and damage anymore. Both enemies have myriads of threshold attacks. For Safer, his threshold attack triggers at 89, 69, 49 and 29%. He will debuff the party and do a brave gain AoE HP attack. This attack can do quite a lot of damage. Cerberus itself has 3 threshold at 89, 59, and 29%. It will turn walk both Cypher and Cerberus, with Cerberus itself taking two consecutive turns. For my team, I try my best not to trigger too many turn warps from Cerberus, so during setup, I will focus most of my damage onto Cypher. The enemies for this event really are quite squishy. I've only taken two countered turns, and they're already around 70% HP. <laughs> Anyway, I'll take this chance to talk a little bit about Raijin's call and why you should spend resources on him. His LD call applies a 2 turn debuff that prevents the enemy from inflicting debuff and HP damage onto your party. This is incredibly invaluable. The value that we can get out of this call is ridiculous. We'll never have to worry about threshold attacks anymore, especially if the enemies do not turn warp. I'd even go as far as saying that Raijin is the one call that you do not want to miss. Spend your 70k gems here, PT it if you have to, and be happy that you have it. Even during Shinryu era, this call is godsend. For no boss turn teams, it's pretty much Reno's pyramid debuff with infinite duration, providing your party with impeccable safety that no other call can emulate. The course we have so far only protects us from one thing, either from damage or from debuff. Raijin does both. If you are still doubting, trust me and pull him now. And now you are going to witness the fruit of my labor. All my snowflow research so far has been for one purpose, to breathe in new life into my lightning saga. Seeing her single HP dumps do 500 to 700k damage is just something I've been dying to see. If you too like seeing this kind of damage from lightning, smash that like button and subscribe for more single HP dumps from my favorite pink head savior. This is also another aspect of why damage can be good even if it's just big number. In this BT phase, both Cypher and Cerberus will go down. No health means no threshold attacks and that means no mechanics for me to worry about. Sometimes bringing more damage is really the best solution to everything. I hope this can convince some of you on the legit usefulness of this tech. Overhyped or not, the results are here. It's easy to set up and the damage is high. Isn't that why we pull on some characters because of high damage? Snow can provide that for the whole party. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye!